Annyeong everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Ju and if you like cars like me, please do consider subscribing and also liking this video. Thank you! As you have seen in the title, we have the all-new Ford Explorer Limited. And this one is priced at 2,998,000 pesos SRP. That is a wonderful price for what we get for the car. If you want to purchase Ford vehicles, please do contact Mr. Jericho here in Ford Global City. He has more than 20 years of Ford experience. In this particular video, I'll be driving the all-new Ford Explorer Limited. Now, if you want a more detailed walk around, you may watch this video. Now, do you think it will also sell very well like the Longanisa meal of McDonald's? Let's find out. This all-new Ford Explorer is already in the sixth generation. Yes, the Ford Explorer has been produced since 1991 as the first four-door mid-size SUV in the Ford brand. Now, it is quite popular in the world because it is used also as a police vehicle or highway patrol vehicle, also known as police interceptors. Well, at least here in the Philippines, Ford Explorer is not for everyone. It has that executive status or stature. So if you like get down from this vehicle or get inside this vehicle, people might think that you are very rich. In this video, I'll be driving the Ford Explorer. This one has a curb weight of, of almost two tons. Now it has a 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged gasoline engine, which is mated to 10 speed automatic transmission. This sixth generation of Ford Explorer has the same um, platform as the Lincoln Aviator. So this is a rear wheel based platform. So let's see if uh, this platform drives as well as the previous generations. Finally, let us drive the Ford Explorer. Shija. Let us start the car and warm up those tires. Yeah. Let's see what this 300 horsepower 420 newton meters of torque can do wow so as of now uh, we are in normal mode <laughs> oh my goodness we're just in normal mode now there are uh, quite a handful of people who say that uh, it lacks power but uh, I'm sorry, that's not the case here. It could be true if you have like full passengers and full load. But uh, as of now, I'm alone in the car. So that is not the same case. I think it, it still has that enough uh, torque and power. But of course, if it had 3.0 liter V6 engine, it will also be very nice. But I am satisfied with what I just felt in the initial <laughs> drive. Crazy. Now, is the Ford Explorer practical in the Philippines? Well, I think the size is perfect because honestly, Ford Expedition is a bit too wide. Well, it is also very long. So the Ford Explorer is hitting that sweet spot right between the Everest and the Expedition. So it is practical for the size and considering that it comes with Ford Co-Pilot, it also has a lot of safety system, but uh, what is critical is the 360 camera. You can easily activate it when you are going low speed, also when you are for uh, off-roading and stuff like that. So unlike the previous or the fifth generation Ford Explorer, you have more cameras that will help you in maneuvering this somewhat big size SUV. Now, this is a 3 million vehicle that comes with an EcoBoost engine. No, uh, EcoBoost engine is popular because it has fuel efficiency, but still has that power that is why it is popular 
in the entire world so like if you are that kind of person who are tight on budget for fuel this is not practical for you now if you are not going to be driving this car it is also somewhat not practical because all the nice you know features all the amenities are here in the driver's seat and in the first row but if you are someone who will just stay in the second row all the time then you might need to reconsider because it has too many nice things for your driver in the philippines like this kind of cars are chauffeur driven so you need to take that into consideration or you need a kuya driver who is disciplined this is probably the most uh, cost-effective seven-seater family vehicle that you can buy right now in the Philippines you know it is whether you wow <laughs> we are in normal mode uh, whether you like it or not Ford Explorer has been sold out yes and I would like to uh, commend Ford Philippines for giving that sweet price I mean they didn't go over 3 million so maybe because they didn't bring the 3.0 liter V6 but still it has power I like that now uh, what else the vehicle has adaptive cruise control now I'm going to be testing it right now anyway whatever the safety system that you might you know imagine it's all here okay it's all here everything is plush like some people might complain that the interior has plenty of hard plastic it still has that nice cockpit that feels roomy that feels expensive it is something that you will appreciate every time you get inside like there there must be people like looking for far more things than just uh, the new the all new dash in the new explorer but for me this is already a huge uh, update and improvement i think this is a great family car you know seven seater you have air vents everywhere you have power outlet you have charge ports you have rear shades so there, this car basically has everything definitely not slow there's just a bit of turbo lag but remind uh, reminder this is almost 2000 kilogram so you know the way it is pushing the car it is a sweet drive now uh, american cars are famous to do very well going straight only so we will also try to turn so we we see if there's a body roll or something like that premium seven seater suv that also has off-road capabilities so you know that is nice and you can also open the shade like this and why didn't i think of that earlier this is panoramic so it goes all the way to the back but still they were able to maintain the roof or the ceiling air vents which i like very much the tiny potholes are you know almost unfelt wow <laughs> just one thing i noticed is that uh, the ford explorer doesn't come with paddle shifters anymore Now, if you are someone who likes to push your seven-seater executive SUV to its limits, then <laughs> you are special. <laughs> Most of the people in uh, buying this car will not push the car to its limit. Like, it will never go to off-road. Oh, the aircon is so cold, I'm gonna turn it off. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's 
just goes to zero to hundred easy the car feels a bit light also the steering feels a bit light because this is electronically adjusted it still feels planted just look at this the imperfections of the Philippine road can easily be rebounded by this nice suspension setup although it is quite uh, interesting to see a Macpherson uh, strut in the front in this uh, kind of car remember this has 10 speed guys plenty of gears to play around that only means that it is gonna keep the RPM low because this is an automatic transmission and then uh, which means it will have better fuel efficiency there's a huge intercooler to cool the transmission wow <laughs> wow the body roll is minimal some reviewers say that uh, there is like the steering like the wheels because when you actually steer your uh, vehicles they don't steer like that they kind of have this angle but they say for the Ford Explorer it's like flat so I am not driving that fast to uh, experience you know this is not my car I need to take care of it so but still just like my, what my wife said Ford Explorer has one of the best ride comfort in the Philippines and I also approve let's just press it okay there was a bit of hunting there with the gear as I was going up the little incline so, yeah here is the speed bump let's try it Oh, I like it. Like speed humps, I'll be like going up in 30. Yeah. Very quiet, no rattling. <laughs> nice vehicle. Oh, so it has slow speed adaptive cruise control. Yeah, it does. I mean, I just placed it in 30. And while I was parked and it got engaged then it started to move okay. the when you press the gas like all the way to the metal uh, you will not hear the sporty exhaust sound now I guess if you want a sporty sound you will need to upgrade it now, your Ford Explorer comes with a system called SOS post crash alert system now what it does is that when you have an accident when your front seat belts pretensioners activate or one of the airbags deploy it will uh, automatically turn on the hazard it will also horn three times in four uh, seconds interval so it will help people around you alarming signaling that you need help so that is something that might save you for you to reach that golden time or golden hour so you'll be saved now let me demonstrate what the Bang & Olufsen sound system can do for you you can have stereo and you can also have surround uh, type of sound modes wow did you see that u-turn <laughs> i did that u-turn like a rock star wow the turn radius is really tight and that is the all-new ford explorer in motion now if you have enjoyed this video please do like this video leave some comments if you have some questions and please do contact mr jericho here in Ford Global City. And with that, I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong.